Okay, I don't know what happened with our Facebook. It got um, cut off. It got cut off, but we're still live on our Instagram. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. Sorry about that. Okay, so, but I will still upload both of the videos. You know, I'll take it as it is. Okay, so, um, like I'm saying, that there are people who feel like, okay, so we are taking an inspiration for you for Monday, self-control. We're talking about self-control. Please kindly do take um time to also watch the previous short video and we are going to continue okay so self-control you may like we're continuing with self-control saying that you may not go very far with i don't take nonsense you don't know me attitude humility is also from self-control over any negatives positives pressure criticisms attacks or any emotions like you know there are those people who say I don't take this nonsense. I don't take, okay. If you say you don't take this nonsense, like they can't do that to you, you know, where is your humility? Where is your, 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 where is your love? Where is your humility? You know, uh, so what does that mean, Royals? Like self-control means being humble, you know. It's, it also means being humble. You need to learn to be humble you know so self-control it gives you uh humility is also built from self-control over any negatives positives pressure criticism attacks or any emotions so when you have self-control you have authority over on any negatives positives pressure criticism attacks or any emotions at all when you have self-control you can be in charge of every emotion like every different types of emotions okay and so they like i was saying that there are those people who say like you don't know me i don't take nonsense who do you think i am like they've always have got those thinking attitude those funny attitudes okay we don't know you it's fine we don't know you tell us who you are now that we don't know you like okay you know what i mean so things like that you know so know when to stop when to talk when to act when to respond when to emotionally react like i've said that and how to behave in every situation train yourself to be mentally ready over circumstances of life and act mature in all dealings have self-control royal okay it says know when to stop you need to know when to stop whether you are helping people too much when you're not even when sometimes you know that people who help a lot and even when the holy spirit didn't tell you you must help and then tomorrow when people don't say thank you to you you now get angry and you get broken they i i always do good things for people i've done so many things for people but nobody says thank you do you understand like did god send you there did God tell you you must go and help? You know what I mean. Like you say, I work a lot. Like I'm always going extra mile. I do all I can to make sure that, you know, I put things in place and this, that. Okay, did God send you there? You see where our mistake is. Like we do things that the Holy Spirit didn't send us. Okay. And then we let us blame God and say, God, look at your children they don't say thank you look at your children they are attacking me look at your children they are giving me attitude and then god will be asking you okay rati did i send you there no god okay so is that my problem because god does have conversations like royals god does you see so you need to know when to stop when to stop stopping in helping people you need to know when to stop in, you know, um, when you are working. You need to know when to stop, you know, in, in so many ways, spiritually, physically, emotionally. You can use it in any way. You need to know when to stop doing the shopping because you can't just do shopping every now and then even if it's not necessary. You need to control that self-control. You need to know when to say yes and when to say no. You need to know when, how to use your money and when to stop. Like you can, that's what I say, know when to stop, when to talk. I like this one. When to talk, self-control. 
Self-control teaches you to know when to stop talking. Because there are people who talk even when it's not necessary. That is the truth, royals. There are people who talk too much even when it's not necessary. Do you know, have you ever observed that um, there are people that you can be together like, you know, as a team or maybe you are in a meeting or whatever. There are people who are empty from the inside yet they think they know too much. They have every information. They will talk more than the people that knows. You know, everybody else will keep quiet and them only will be talking nonstop and they don't even realize that this thing is irritating others. Like they're, they're not, they're, they don't have that discerning spirit to see whether it's the right time to talk or not. They don't even have a discerning spirit to know whether they should go ahead and talk or they should stop. So you see that you need to know when to talk, know when to talk, when to stop, when to act. You must know that is why it is important to use the precious Holy Spirit to let the precious Holy Spirit guide you. You know, you need the wisdom of God royals. Okay. So know when to act. When do you act? You know, sometimes you can say, you know what? I've been, uh, I've been budgeting my money and I've been, I've saved so much money in my, in my bank account. You know, I've, I, I have so much money. But now, um, let me go and invest in this business. And then when you go there, they take all the money, they eat it. Did God send you there? You never even consulted the Holy Spirit. God doesn't even know if you, you, were, you were going there. You just told God when you came back from releasing the money that God, I, I just back from this company, I went to uh, release my money. And God will be like, okay, but I never said go and release the money. So you need to know when to act, know when to send in that money, know when to act for that business, know when to pitch for your clients, know when you need the right timing. That is why uh, 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 they say, you must be at the right place at the right time. You need to know when to do it. When to do it. You know, all those things are important. When to respond. <laughs> you must know when to respond to people. You don't just respond there. You know, there are people. <laughs> I remember. Uh, I don't know what, to, what we're talking about. Okay. Um, oh, it was actually. I think it was. Uh. Oh, it was my mother. I remember she was talking about that, um, you know, I think she was just using wisdom to also tell me, guys, like really. <laughs> I think she was just using wisdom to tell me that I must, I talk, I must not talk a lot. I must also listen, <laughs> you know. So she was just giving an example of somebody that, um, you know, there are people who, you know, they talk even when they're not supposed to, when they're supposed to listen, you know. And like, for example, you know, somebody is uh, talking and you, you, you say, oh, you know what, this, 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 this. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure you, you, if you understand, like the people who you are trying to give them some information, you're trying to say something. Oh, you know what? I want you to go to this particular place, go and see this person, this person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the person, the person can do this, 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 this. but you haven't even heard what you are being instructed what they are saying what is the information saying to you meaning you need to know when to respond so meaning that you need to know how to listen and when to respond you don't just respond there and there when somebody is talking you are also talking so you must have to, you know humility self control is you sitting down listening to what is being said and then after that what do you do you take time to respond that is one of the uh, uh skill of leadership that is one of the skill of leadership to those who are leaders who are bosses you know don't just say uh what do they call it cut off like gang your or uh, bang your, your your employee when they're trying to express themselves or trying to talk about something the next thing you're like ah no you know, so you must have that thing of listen to what people are saying, give them time, and then you respond. Okay, don't just talk when it's not necessary. 
when to emotionally react and how to behave in every situation like you need self-control you need to know how to behave in every situation okay there may be situations that will be hating you the most and you feel like rolling you feel like screaming you feel like crying you, you know you would want to do anything at some point there are people i've heard so many cases of like hearing news and all those so many cases whereby people kill themselves they commit suicide because they cannot handle situations in their lives okay so you need to know how to handle every situation in your life you need to know how to handle it know how to react know when to stop when to talk you know so you need to know how to uh, uh, train yourself to be mentally ready over circumstances of life and act mature in all dealings. Have self-control, royal, okay? Be mentally ready to deal with situations in your life emotionally, you know, especially situations that drain you emotionally, that drain you spiritually. You need to know how to handle them how to start when to be angry and when not to be angry you must know how to handle your anger my pastor will always say angratia meaning hold your anger even if you want to hold somebody you feel like holding somebody and squashing them and kicking them and beating them but because you have self-control you'll be like you breathe in and out and you relax and you take a decision as the holy spirit leads you so i think this week's is uh, an inspiration for you is very powerful okay so don't grow in age only and act like a child in dealing with matters that requires you to be of maturity so don't um meaning that uh don't grow in age only and act like a child in dealing with matters that requires you to be of maturity you know you need to be matured you know no don't be just don't just grow in number that is the truth don't just grow in number like you're 30 years as uh, 25 30 35 40 you are just growing in number but when we look at the, the reality of your life like you're not matured the way you handle situations in your life the way you you handle challenges the way you handle cases in your life you act like a child where you're supposed to be matured you're behaving like a small child a small girl a small boy things like that so we need to have self-control and know when to act right okay don't grow in age or okay don't be controlled by your emotions have authority like a royal who is ever led by the spirit of god so don't be controlled by your emotions have authority have auth have self-control that is self-control so meaning have authority okay okay so let's go imagine we haven't even gone to tuesday i'll be trying to i'll try to be very fast i think you know in one of the things that the holy spirit said to me was that um just try he says i'm going to do this to you just try to listen to the inspiration and you know respond like uh, elaborate as i am saying it so i realize that as i'm doing it now there's so much to talk about on that one inspiration it's like it's a whole shame one on its own so because i know like because i'm also growing i'm also learning i told you that i do learn a lot through an inspiration for you so that is why part of the reason why the holy spirit instructed an inspiration for you recap because you get to understand the message deeper and it will be more elaborated okay because some people may not understand when they're just reading it but now when we uh like elaborated it makes more sense it costs jesus it costs jesus blood that is on tuesday it costs jesus blood for you to be royal listen to that okay those who do not know their value find it very expensive to inherit that royalty hence they use their cruelty to attack the royals out of head it cost jesus blood for you to be real like for you to be a real person it had to cost jesus blood okay so today you are born again you are royal you are a royal do you know why you are a royal today because it costs somebody's blood it costs jesus blood for you to be royal today 
those who do not know their value find it very expensive to inherit that royalty. So those who don't know that uh, Christianity, those who don't have a relationship with God, those who don't know their value, they find it so hard to give their life to Christ. They find it so hard to live for God. They find it so hard to live a Christianity life. Okay? They find it very expensive to inherit. That's why they, they, they use their cruelty to attack the royals out of hate. So what they do is they use their hate, their cruelty to attack those that are of, of, for Christ. Okay. Maybe you have not been under, you have not been understanding why people are ever after you. Your praises makes them uncomfortable. You know, that people like that, you have been wondering, like, why are people after me always? Like, what's going on? People do. I feel like people are just too much for me. You know, they are ever after you. Your princess makes them uncomfortable. You being alive seem to be a threat to them. You minding your business makes them have sleepless nights. Like there are people like that. Like you mind your own business always. You know, you are always doing your own things and so forth. But there will be people who will be poking you every now and then. They just want to disturb your life. It's like they are, they, they, they're not happy that you are alive. They're not happy that you are quiet. They're not happy that you are doing well. People just want to, you know, to be frustrating your life. You know, each time you breathe, it feels like you are suffocating them. You sense energy of hate. At some point, you can even sense that, you know what, this, this feels like there's so much hatred around people on me. What's going on? You know, I will tell you this. You having God's ability is what makes them mad. Maybe you have been asking yourself, why are people hating me like this? Why are people after me? Why, why are people so uncomfortable around me? It is because of what you have. That power that you have. That ability that you have. You know, that grace that is upon is what is making them uncomfortable. Listen to this. Listen, Royal, there's nothing wrong with you. It's not bad luck. Don't think the hatred is caused by dark clouds over um ever following dark clouds ever following you in case that's what you were told. So don't think that the hate is actually the problem is you. Don't think that everything's about you. Maybe there are dark clouds following you, or the ancestors, these are uh, all oh, the people who hate you because they did some certain rituals to on you. Now you have bad luck. People don't like you and so on. Wherever you go, you are covered with veils and so on. I know there are people like that. I know there are things like that. And you know, people believe in so many things and so on. But let me tell you, according to the word of God. The Bible says that challenges are the stepping stone from, uh, I mean, challenges are the stepping stone for promotion. And then it says, count it all joy when you go through diverse tests. It says, count it all joy because it is through those challenges you become better. It is you experiencing all those pressure of life around you that makes you better. You know, how do you, how do, uh, how does, how do they make a diamond? How do they make God like all those, uh, 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 um, minerals and so on. This is they have to go through the furnace. So if you can only understand it that way, that you know what, it's not just your fault. It is what. Let's listen to each time you breathe. Okay, listen, Raul. There's nothing wrong with you. It's not bad luck. Whatever uh, I've said, uh, the hatred is caused by dark clouds. Or like I'm saying, like you know, it's not like it's dark clouds following you. Whatever. Relax. You are not cursed at all stop going for all those rituals i will tell you where the problem is the problem to them not you is your royalty in christ jesus what you carry is what is a threat to them the be conscious of who you are don't be confused you are a royal okay so what does that mean relax stop always like you know <laughs> let me tell you something there's no need, Royal, like especially when you are born again, you're a child of God. There's no need, honestly, there's no need for you to go, you know, and go and mix all different types of trees and all the mooties and everything. You say, I'm going to wash myself. I've got bad luck. People hate me. This is happening to me. And so now you're going to do perform. You go and do and perform rituals in the night. You go perform so many rituals because you feel like people are hating you. You need uh, att attention. You want pe people to love you and so on, especially when you are born again, especially when you are a child of God. Okay. 
those that are not born again will understand I, will, I may forgive them and say they are in the dark when we as ghost children we preach the gospel to them we help them discover who they are in Christ but then when you are a child of God you are born again and you still go through all those things you were doing all those rituals you're going to to the bush and go and bath with certain mooties and so on uh -uh, there's a problem there there's a problem, Royal. There's a problem, guys. There's a problem. You need to be helped. We need to help each other. The problem is you don't know who you are. You're not conscious of who you are. If only you can be conscious of who you are and what you carry. The problem, the challenge why people are after you like this is because of what you have, the royalty that you have. Not that you have bad luck. We need to change our mindset, Royals. We need to change our mindset. It's not like you have bad luck. I'm not saying those things don't exist. I don't know if they do or not. But what I know is I know who I am in Christ. Like I have, I am a child of God. I am a royal person. Like God, Jesus died for me. His blood was shed for me. I am of value. I am a royal. I'm who I am today because Jesus died for me. You understand? So if not for Jesus, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be talking boldly the way I'm talking now. But I am here now on this platform. I have this opportunity to share an inspiration for you because Jesus died for me. I am aware of it. So if you are not conscious of who you are, you will go from one, uh, what do they call them? What do they call them? Uh, traditional healers is it traditional i don't know what they call it i think it's traditional healers you go from one traditional healer to another from one person to another you go from one place to another seeking for help until you discover who you are that is the truth i know it sounds like like i'm like I, I, you know somebody may say like who do you think you are right the way you are talking do you understand what you say i know they are all in the realm of the spirit that those that you know spiritual forces that will even want to come after me i don't care because i know who i am in christ i've had so many of those attacks i don't even consider them anymore i've passed that level because i know what the devil is capable of doing when he wants to destroy a child of god but that is not a factor for me my point is there's no need for you to go through one place to another seeking for help. Find out who you are in the word of God, Royals. Like, it is that simple. Get to the word. If you need help, if you say, oh, right, the way you're talking is like you've arrived. No, I'm not saying I've arrived. But I have the information that you might not have. So you can inbox me, talk to me and ask me, right, how best can I help myself? This is what I'm going through. What do I do? I will assist you where I can through the help of the Holy Spirit. And I will ask God to help us, both of us. You know, so we need to know who we are. We need to know who we are, Royals. Okay, so let's look at Wednesday. We're about to finish up. Um, on Wednesday, it says, um, listen to this. Comfortable is a license to panic and frustration. Don't get used to doing same thing over and over daily. Learn to adjust and accommodate change. Take advantage of new opportunities and prepare for your better tomorrow. Comfortable is a license to panic. When you are too comfortable, you will panic. You know, com being comfortable to being in your comfort zone will make you panic one day because everything will just wake up one day and it's jada boom boom things have changed around you you will be shocked <laughs> you know you will be shocked because that's where frustration will kick in before we know it like remember the one for monday that said you must know when to talk when to act we will see you acting uncontrollable because you have been so comfortable in that place you have been so comfortable in that situation you have been so comfortable in that job you have been so comfortable in that business doing the same thing over and over again no, let's listen to this learn to adjust and accommodate change take advantage of new opportunities and prepare for your better tomorrow take advantage of new opportunities royals that means be always ready for opportunities be at your your body must be able to adjust you know, you must be able to adjust for opportunities. Where you need to fit in an opportunity, adjust. Where you need to add, like that, like change. You must not be comfortable. Don't be comfortable with same things over and over again. Imagine, 
Always be prepared for new seasons, new opportunities, and new change in all areas of your life. Mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, and socially. Those are all the areas that I love to touch base on. Somebody may ask, why does she always say mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and so on? Those are the main areas that I know that the Holy Spirit has granted me grace to touch on to help somebody. I know. You know, you may say, but you're not yet driving an expensive car, you're not rich yet. I'm telling you in the spirit, I'm already rich. I already have the monies. I know. Like when I look at where I'm coming from, when I look at where I am and how God has helped me, I can boldly tell you that you need to change in this and this and this area of your life financially. So I am a living testimony of that. So that's why I will say mentally, because I, I can completely understand the crisis behind mentally a uh, 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 stress you know i understand physically i can tell you the challenge that you may have whether it's in your health or whatever physically if you're not okay whether from the outside your look and so on it will be seen stress talks do you know that when somebody is got stress you can see it on their face you don't need to be told so i can easily tell you physically how you need to be what to do how to better yourself how to look better and so on as the Holy Spirit leads. And emotionally, especially emotionally, we have had so much cases of people abused emotionally, you know, and they don't even know how to deal with the situations around them. So what I'm saying is, uh, and also spiritually, spiritually, I mean, you know, they like, I, that is my main part. I can preach to you and you can give your life to Christ. It's very positive. I know that. And socially also, you know, you need to know how to communicate with others, how to talk to people. We have already spoken some of the things for a Monday. The Holy Spirit taught us how to talk to people and so on, when to talk, when to stop. All those kind of things are very important. So we're talking about comfortable. Is a license of panic. So when you are too comfortable in your life, you will panic because there will be a day where you will wake up and everything is upside down. You will be shocked. What happened to the Jesus uh, to Jesus' disciples when they were in the boat? Jesus was sleeping. Then, because they were too, you know, they were relaxing. They thought, ah, they, there's nothing. That when the storm hit them, when the storm came. They were panicking. They were everywhere. Yeah, calling Jesus. Ah, no, 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 harassing Jesus while Jesus was resting. Imagine. Somebody's just harassing your life while you're trying to rest. And they're like, Jesus, don't you care that we perish? There's crisis here. And then Jesus woke up and they're like, hey, peace, be still. Calm down. He calmed the storm. Why? Because he understood who he was. So he was not he was not always on his comfort zone. He understood that when something hits in, what do I do? Like Jesus is like a goalkeeper. Let's listen. Let's, let's, don't surprise opportunities. Uh, you can avoid panic. Okay, we are here. You can avoid panic when you prepare and plan on time. Okay, you can avoid panic when you plan and prepare on time. What does that mean? <clears throat> let me give you a very simple example. You can avoid panic. For example, panic of being late in the morning when you have to go to work. <coughs> panic of being late to prepare and so on. That thing, I'm just giving you a very simplest uh, uh, idea. Work in the night, prepare yourself for the following day. What do you do? Put, if you're a student, put your uniforms together, your shoes, everything, your books, do your homework, prepare everything, put it ready and put it there where you know when you wake up in the morning, all you do is to bath, put on your uniforms and can't take your bag and, I mean, grab your bag and go out. Do you understand? Like, there are things that you need to prepare, plan, excuse me, on time. You know you are pitching tomorrow. Why are you not preparing your, 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 your pitch? You wait until it's in the morning and your client is like, we are late, we are late. Now you are packing. You don't even know what you're saying. You understand? Like, you know you're supposed to have a Zoom meeting. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you are supposed to have a Zoom meeting. Why didn't you prepare on time? You know, things like that. We're talking about uh, such things. So, never get used. I think I'm also talking to me there. That is me there. You can avoid panic when you prepare and plan on time. Never get used to doing same things every day you wake up in the morning. Like, you know, same things, you know, I just wake up, I eat, I do this, I do this, and the next thing I'm going to wake up, oh, blah, blah, blah. Everything, you, you, you are even used to all those things. 
you morning meeting some people daily use same route daily until you become as usual now your life is as usual come out of that comfort zone royal you can't grow that way don't let the enemy know where to get you each time he plans to attack do you understand like when you get used to doing some things over and over again over and over again you're ever you using the same route now even if they plan to attack you they will know where to get you they'll know what time you pass on that road what time you drive through there so when they want to attack you they know how to get you you must be be like a be a spirit vanish where you have to. don't be available for everybody anyway anyhow that's the word there don't be available for everybody anyway anyhow everywhere you are there you just there like you as usual come for drinks hey i'm there come for the party yeah i'm there as usual you are always doing the same thing over and over people get bored of you because of doing same things why because you are always comfortable to do the same things okay don't let the enemy get no way to attack you all right change change roots change change don't be comfortable with something comfortable being on the same job for a very long time no no equipping yourself no studying no nothing no adding so that they can promote you nothing you're ever doing something every single day every single day even if they think of promoting you are the last person they should they think of to promote they will look, take another person that person who sleep who have sleepless nights they don't sleep at night they study they wake up in the morning they go and uh, uh, apply new skills at their job and then the next thing they're promoted now you are like you have bad luck the next thing you are going to the bush somewhere to go and use all the mootings that you know you mix everything salt garlic vinegar everything now you want to wash yourself that you can receive um uh, wash out bad lucks no 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 a thousand times no that is ignorance that is honestly ignorance royals don't surprise opportunities you prayed for a long time ago with panic and feel life is unfair because of too much pressure you want to be great right prepare today for your tomorrow train yourself to be hands-on always like a goalkeeper ever ready for new op development okay so royals be ever ready for development be ever ready for new opportunities you know be ever ready always be ever ready okay so thursday we're about to round up Oh my word, you know, I've just noticed something today. You know, there's something that the Holy Spirit instructed me last week when we were doing the inspiration for you. you said, try by all means not to use your head. Try by all means not to use your own information. Exactly as I put it, say it as it is. And also I'll give you words to elaborate it. And I'm seeing that, like the inspirations for today, that I'm seeing that it's much even longer than I always make it short. And so that means... We have to be very conscious. It's good to listen to the Holy Spirit. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm sure you, you can see that. Okay. It doesn't have to be. Now we are on Thursday. It doesn't have to be convenient for you, but it has to be done. It doesn't have to be convenient for you. It has, listen to God's voice as he gives you, <coughs> excuse me, instructions. Do what he says as his spirit leads you. Not your ego. Do what the Spirit of God says, Royals, not what you want to hear or what you want to feel, what you want to say, okay? Your body and others will have to adjust and comply, get things done. So it doesn't have to be convenient for you. If you have to wake up in the morning early, prepare on time, wake up. Even if it's not convenient, I know it's cold. You can say, but it's cold. I know you can say, hey, it's too hot. You can give all the excuses. It's not convenient for you, but you have to do what ought to be done. Is it not for greatness? It is for greatness. We want to grow. Okay. Where you have to wake up and pray, wake up and pray. Where you have to study the word, it's not convenient, but it has to be done. That is what it is. <clears throat> okay. So let's take the inspiration. We are about to round up. You are in a season of good discomfort. I loved that when he said you are in a season of good discomfort. You know, so that means it's a good discomfort. Why? Because you, you, you know that at the end you're going to be better. You are in a season of good discomfort. It is going to stretch you out of your comfort zone, but all is for your good. You are a royal soldier led, led by the Holy Spirit. You will be okay. Adjust and comply. Adjust to God's instruction and comply. Do what he says. You know, it's a new month of a new season. Convenient doesn't get things done on time. And he is dragging like a snail. Don't be trapped and robbed of your tomorrow royals. 
okay? Greatness has many ways of training you. The interesting thing about him is that he doesn't force you. He gives you an option to choose comfort or discomfort. <clears throat> Royal, don't wait until it's convenient for you to get things done. Take instruction from the Holy Spirit. Let him lead you. In that way, you won't feel the heaviness um, of discomfort. You know, even if it's not good, you feel uncomfortable, you won't feel it. Why? Because you are listening to the Holy Spirit. Okay, so don't... <clears throat> Don't use your own ego. Like don't 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 use your your self centeredness to make decisions and so on. You know, listen to the Holy Spirit. Okay, get things done. Get things done. You're supposed to have a meeting. Have the meeting. You know, make sure you get things done. No excuse. Get things done. You know, get things done. So, whatever it is that you need to do, get it done. Okay, so don't don't wait until it's convenient. You say, ah, you know what it's called. I'm going to wait until it's like a little bit hot outside. Oh, it's raining. You know, it's so much raining. I'm going to wait. Um, I will wait when the rain. Okay, look for an umbrella, and go where you're supposed to go. Okay, like let us royals. The oh, that's the only way we will grow. That's the only way we can be what God wants us to be. Let us not make excuses. It's not good to make excuses, okay? It's not convenient. Like, there are so many things that are not convenient, but you have to make them, get them done, okay? Don't wait until you it's convenient for you. Then you say, ah, I will do it some other time. No, okay? Gratitude Friday. So today is Friday. <clears throat> we are about to round up. It's Gratitude Friday. Gratitude calls you for opportunity. I love gratitude. Gratitude calls you for opportunities that you did not apply for. It forcefully opens and exposes those that were intentionally planned to be closed for you. Learn to be grateful to God and to men. Okay? Gratitude calls you for opportunities that you did not apply for. When you are grateful, when you show gratitude to God, you pour out God with your gratitude. You know, it calls you for opportunities that it didn't apply for. Like, your gratitude to God is like a perfume. You're kneeling down to God and say, God, I thank you for this. God, I worship you. God is like, oh, I love my daughter when she talks like this. <clears throat> I love my son when uh, he talks like this. You see, so gratitude calls you for opportunities that you did not even apply for. They are those people that will just remember you somewhere. God will cause something to happen so that your name can be mentioned. It is very possible. You know, it, it forcefully opens and exposes those that were intentionally planned to be closed for you. Learn to be grateful to God, okay? So there are those plans. The enemy will always, they will always do that. Intentionally plans not to open opportunities for you, not to call you. There will be this and that. But now, because you are grateful to God, God, you, you just hear them open their mouth and just bless you even when they wanted to kiss you. God will just call, they will just call you and say, please come for this. We have this for you. You know why? Because you, you, you are a grateful person. Okay, so I'm doing, there's an excellent way of doing it, Royal. All you have to do is to learn God's principles. In that way, you will enjoy your journey of life. Challenges will be bred for you. Nothing will move your faith because you know when and how to calm the storms. We've already talked, spoken about the energy you are using into all the ritual practices you are doing, trying to force your name in spiritual realm to be called for. Remember, in high places, save it. I think this week, the Holy Spirit is talking to us so much on the people that do a lot of rituals, like, you know, some gomas and all those for help, I think you just need to save your energy. Save your energy, Royal. Okay? Imagine how cold it is right now. And then you are cold to go. You have to go run in that bush without shoes. Ah! What is going to happen to your feet? Then you come back, you are tired. I just save your energy, Royals. Okay? <clears throat> I think I just, just save the energy. Save that energy. Let me show you. The energy you are using into all the rituals practices you are doing, trying to force your name in spiritual realm to be called or remembered in high places, save it. There's an easy way of doing it, and it's the glow, it's it's the godly way. It's simple but very powerful. Very simple but powerful. 
<clears throat> go to your secret place with a pure heart. Get on your knees. Lift up your holy hands and thank your heavenly father. Pour out to him. Genuinely, don't pretend then watch him bless you even in the presence of your enemies. That's the power of gratitude. God is that powerful. That's the power of gratitude. If you can only understand the mystery behind gratitude, if only you can understand the power of you being grateful to God, thanking God for what he blesses you with and looking forward for more opportunities, thanking God for who you are today and expecting more, thanking God for protecting you. Lord, I thank you because you protect me always. Even if there was no protection, because we have said, God, I thank you, God will protect you. Do you understand? Even if there were people who didn't want you to have opportunities, but just because you know how to say, how to be grateful to God, God will force them, put words in their mouth. God will put their name, I mean, your name on their mouth, and they will open their mouth and say, Rati, even though they were not planning to say right, that is how powerful God is. So learn to be grateful to God and also learn to be grateful to men. Appreciate people. Don't be like, I don't care. You must do it for me. It's not supposed to be like, I appreciate. Have a grateful heart. Thank God for that which you have received this week. So take some time, Royals. Count down your blessings. Thank God. Okay. Thank God for your job. Thank God for your business. Thank God for yourselves. Thank God for your family. Thank God for your ministry, Royals. Thank God for your, you know, for everything. I appreciate God for protection. Even if there was somebody who was planning to harm you because they said, God, I thank you for protecting me always. God will be like, whoo. She said, she, she believes that I, she is protected. So God will send forth angels on your behalf to protect you. You see, so... Oh my word, I think the inspiration for this week is so powerful. <clears throat> really powerful, Royals. I hope you learned so much. I hope you learned so much. Okay, so the videos are going to be uploaded on our YouTube channel. They are actually on Facebook. There are two of them. If Instagram was okay throughout, you know, what it kept on running. But Instagram, I mean, Facebook got cut off like the few minutes we started. So I will take that video as it is and upload it. This is the main video. So... Royals, what am I going to say now? I will have to leave you. I will have to leave you. Okay, so thank you so much for participating. Thank you for watching later. For others, I know they go to our YouTube channel and watch the videos on our YouTube channel. Please kindly go to our YouTube channel, Fountain Insights TV. We have so much messages on that channel that can help you and me. And also um kindly do join us on sundays at fountain insights tv we have powerful messages that we share every sunday there um by 3 p.m okay so i love you also dearly royals thank you for participating i'm wishing you a glorious weekend take charge and get ready for next week friday inspiration for you recap our times are going to change this time we're changing for good there's no more any other changing 7 p.m on the dot every friday 7 p.m on the dot we're going to be here for an inspiration for you recap i'm sorry for inconveniencing you with the times and so on you know we're trying to sort out everything but now we are away 7 p.m royals we are here okay i love you also dearly take good care of yourselves royals be good self-control love yourself and love others okay so this is rati shalom i'll see you again next friday and also for others on sunday take care god bless you all